As much as I love Power BI Desktop and its library of native visuals, sometimes you need something just a bit more custom. In this demo, I'll walk through how to import custom visuals from AppSource and share a really cool animated bar chart, which is a great example of something that would be virtually impossible to build using native tools. Good news is that Power BI has a library of custom visuals available via AppSource that are developed by Microsoft certified partners and which can be imported into your visualization pane in Power BI Desktop. So here's how it works. In the Insert menu, you'll see an option to drill into More Visuals. From there, you can select From App Source. That will show you a list of Microsoft-approved App Source visuals. And from there, you can select one that you're interested in and click Add to import it into your own Power BI Desktop visualization pane. Now, important call out here, you do need a Power BI Service account in order to browse or import custom visuals from the marketplace, and that does require a work or a school email address. So let's jump into Power BI and I'll show you one really fun example of a custom visual. So first things first, I am signed in to Power BI service. I know this because I see my name right here in the top right corner instead of sign in. And because I'm logged in, I can head to the insert menu, select more visuals and from app source. That's gonna open up this new window what I'd recommend doing is drilling into the App Source Visuals options instead of All Visuals. These are ones that have the Power BI stamp of approval. In other words, they've been tested and approved by the Microsoft team. And you've got some filtering options here. You can drill into different visual types. You can sort in different ways by popularity, rating, update date, and so on. Or you can search for certain types of visuals if you have something specific in mind. Note that each one of these visuals works in a different way. They each have their own learning curve. Some are very simple, some are quite complicated, but it can be a great way to add some really unique and custom visuals to your reports. So to show you a quick example, I found a really cool one called Animated Bar Race. And what I'm gonna do is click on that. It's gonna take me to some details about this particular visual. And if I click the Add button, it's gonna go ahead and import that into Power BI Desktop. So I got that Import Successful message, click OK. And now when I drill into my visuals and scroll down, I see that new visual right here at the bottom, animated bar race chart. So I'm not gonna keep this, this is gonna be temporary. So I'm gonna add a new page and let's drop that visual on this brand new page. Resize a bit. And this particular chart takes four inputs, colors, chart periods, chart items, and values. And what I'm interested in doing is showing which product types or subcategories have driven the most orders over time and how have those rankings changed month over month. So to do that, I'm going to drop in my subcategory name here into chart items. And the values that I want to show for those subcategories will be total orders like so. That's kind of giving me that overall ranking at the subcategory level. And now here's where it gets really cool. You can add a time or date component to the chart period option. And in this case, let's do start of month and see what happens. So check this out. Initially, only road bikes and mountain bikes were being sold. Then we've got all these accessories coming in, tires and tubes leading the way. You can play this to kind of see how the rankings change over time. Really cool, unique type of visual. And obviously, this is something that you would never be able to do using Power BI's default or native visual templates. So obviously, that's one example. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of custom visuals out there to explore and play with. So I'd encourage you to have a look and try this out for yourself. Now, let's go ahead and delete that report page. And this is a good time to talk about how to get rid of custom visuals. Go down into your gallery, scroll all the way down to remove a visual. This will list any custom visuals that have been added. In this case, just that animated bar race chart. Click remove and you're good to go. So let's go back to our exec dashboard. And there you have it, importing custom visuals into Power BI Desktop. Now, if you're excited to learn more and build job ready skills, check out our best selling Power BI Desktop course or dive into our specialist path, which covers desktop, service, advanced DAX, PL300 certification, and more. You can also explore our entire suite of self-paced courses, guided projects, and portfolio tools, and create your own personalized learning plan for free.
Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.